In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. We're going to be talking about optical illusions, adding volume, creating focus points and so forth. If I look at my body or even take the measurements, the most common measurements, that is the bust, waist and hip, you can clearly see by the measurements or just by looking at me that I have a pear-shaped body. In other words, the ratio between my waist and hip is rather large. I have a small waist with a larger hip and I have a very small bust. Therefore, the overall picture does form in the pear shape. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I change this into an hourglass shape. Not by changing my body, but by bringing balance and harmony to my silhouette. Not that there's anything wrong with my body, I like it very much the way it is, but sometimes I would like to really play around with that hourglass silhouette. So let's go. I'm going to give you a good idea of what my body looks like. So I'm going to be putting on skin tight clothes um, in the color black against the white backdrop um, so you can get a very good outline a very good idea by looking at the outline of my body you'll see that I have definitely wider hips in comparison to a rather small waist and I also um, did not put on a padded bra so that you can get an idea of what my bust looks like so overall if you kind of squint and um, you don't focus in on a specific feature of my body and you basically close your eyes slightly so it kind of becomes a little bit blurry you'll very clearly see by the clothes that I have on it is in a slightly more pear shaped shape and you don't have to take your measurements for this you can literally just look at yourself in the mirror but if you look at my body again and open up your eyes, you'll see that I have quite nice broader shoulders. And if I were to draw a line from the tip of my shoulders all the way down, it is almost in line with my hips. Therefore, if I can draw some attention to my shoulders to help out balance my slightly wider hips, I can create the shape of an hourglass. Also, I have quite thin legs and I don't have very muscular legs, especially around my calf area. So if I were to add some volume around my calves in the form of say pants or boots, I can also create volume there. Therefore, again, helping me balance out my hips. I am now going to go into a lot of different examples where I wear different types of outfits. I'm going to point out different things where I made mistakes and also where I added volume in different areas such as my shoulders to create that beautiful hourglass shape. So because it is winter, I'm going to start off with this example um, where I am wearing a coat. You can see that the coat's got quite strong shoulders. It doesn't have um, specific, um, a lot of padding inside of it, but it does have some volume as well as a wider collar. So that immediately adds more volume around my bust or then upper half region of my body. But very important here, you want to still accentuate the waist because if I did not tie it around my waist, it's going to create one big block. The coat also drapes over my hips and therefore not adding volume there. Also the bootleg denim that I'm wearing underneath adds some volume around my ankles. In the next example, you can see that this coat has got quite a bit of volume with the hood as well as the trim of the hood adding volume around my shoulders. Again, I really have that accentuated waist, which is really important. And the coat does not end at my widest part of my hips, but rather below that so that my legs can show underneath the coat, but it does not cut me off at my widest part. The next example is this dress. It does have some ruffle detail around my decolletage area, which is great because it adds volume. Again, I want to add volume around my chest and shoulder area. It does have some details around my hips, which is not always the best idea because you don't want to be adding too much volume around the hips because it's already big enough by itself. But in the dress, there is a string that you can pull to accentuate the waist. So that is definitely what I did. Now, immediately, it looks like I have a stronger shoulder than what I actually have. It is not too much ruffle detail around my hip. And I added some black tights and a high heeled black boot to keep my legs long and slim, therefore changing the silhouette completely. 
The next dress is an example of what not to do if you want an hourglass type of shape. This is a dress that I rented um, to really give you a good understanding. The dress sits tight around my waist and bust area, not adding any volume, but you can see that there is quite a bit of ruffle detail around the hip area. In other words, it adds volume to the hips where there's already enough volume um, without any ruffles. We don't need to add volume. We want to do the opposite. The only way that this dress um, can kind of be fixed is if the yoke of the dress, in other words, that top bit that covers um, my shoulders and my neck area was slightly wider. Uh, but this is not the case and again if you do that squinting action you can very clearly see the outline of a pear shape instead of an hourglass so although this is not a dress i'm going to show you what i mean by adding more volume onto the shoulders i'm wearing tight fitting pants but it doesn't have any distressing or embellishments right at the hip area so it shows it off um, you can clearly see the shape of my hips but it doesn't add volume there also um, we are sitting with a boot cut denim which immediately brings balance down by the feet so the volume at the foot area around and then the hip already creates a little bit of balance but now to amp it up even more i've added a um, i've added a top with a very strong shoulder detail the yoke of this top is really voluminous and it almost adds small angel wings. Although the top allows a lot of space for the upper half of the body, by tucking it in you can still see my waist area although it's not in my true waist but you at least get that idea of the fact that I have a small waist, a now a strong shoulder that I built in with this top, a nice hip like nice flowing hips um, that goes down to the bell bottom or then the boot cut of this denim. I'm gonna show another example, um, but a slightly more winter appropriate example. So I'm wearing the same denim, but I'm wearing it with flat shoes. This is a different type of shoulder detail, but you can still see I've got small angel wings forming. And this is really great because it adds a lot of volume on the upper half of my body. And I created even a bit more with the beret on my head. This is another example of where it's okay, but it's not great. I can definitely improve on this. As you can see, the tight-fitting turtleneck top doesn't really emphasize my shoulders at all. So it doesn't necessarily have a pear shape, but it is not the complete hourglass that I am aiming for. As I said in the beginning of this video, you can do whatever you want, but this is a great example of something in between where it doesn't look bad, but it's also not great. This blazer is absolutely exquisite. It is a velvet blazer and it's got a really nice stronger shoulder. It does have slight um, padding in the shoulder area, but the padding is not overdone like back in the 80s. The lapel and the slight difference in color also creates a bit of a V. I'm really accentuating that waist with the two buttons and then very elegantly draping um, over the hip area. This blazer is absolutely stunning. A strong blazer will always be a good idea. Let's go into more types of shoulder accentuating styles. This dress is not my favorite, it's rented, um, but I still do like it. You can see that it really accentuates my waist. It adds a little bit too much volume around my hips for my own taste, um, but I try to balance that out with a nude heel, so literally lifting myself up even more um, so that my body almost feels strong enough to carry the weight of the dress, if that makes any sense. And then the shoulders um, is also then quite voluminous. You can do this in a more subtle way. Um, so for example, this top that I'm wearing right here does have quite voluminous shoulders, but not as much as the dress. The button detail down the front creates a very beautiful deep V and that again draws your attention to the waist but then also back up to the shoulders where, the, where you have that additional volume. So even if you are wearing a wide leg trouser like this where you have more volume around the entire leg starting from the hip all the way down to the floor you can balance this out by wearing a boat neck type of top really showing off that decolletage area but by adding some fabric around the shoulders so that the shoulders again help balance out 
the wider pants as well as the hip area. For a more casual outfit, you can do that as well. This top's got a beautiful puff sleeve with a very tight fitting bodice. It shows off the waist, adds volume around the shoulders, but then you want to not draw too much attention to the hips. This denim just fades into the background or then the shorts very elegantly drapes over the hips. The more traditional way to add volume to the upper half of the body was by what they would say investing in a great push-up bra. I don't find a lot of comfort in a push-up bra, although some of the very comfortable bras that I wear does add some volume to my bust area, but it is not as much as a push-up bra. These are my absolute favorite silk summer dresses, date night dresses. I love pairing them with nude heels, so my legs seem super long. It's got some voluminous little shoulders, um, cute little puffy sleeves, um, and a nice deeper type of V to really create that hourglass look again. Another way that you can add some volume or to accentuate the shoulder or upper half of the body is by adding in some horizontal stripes. But I won't take the horizontal stripes all the way down to my hip area. That is gonna make me seem a little bit and flattering. So I'm gonna tuck this shirt in so that my hip area is not the focus, it's not on display, so that the stripe can only broaden and accentuate the upper half of my body. But the overall outfit still allows my waist to really be on show. I think with these tips you can really create a very pleasing silhouette. Um, and if you are interested in more body shapes, I can try and ask a few friends if they don't mind helping me out by showing you how to dress for even more body shapes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a good one. Bye.